Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another about my stumps. World of Tanks console, or excuse me, World of Tanks mercenaries. Fail team series videos. Yeah, the whole mercenaries thing, I haven't even really got onto it that much. Uh, it's just... I guess what I wanted originally from World of Tanks is what it was. It was not a simulator, but something that was close, close to real tanks, sort of, maybe. Um, that intrigued me. It uh, made me want to play the game. Um, I wanted to learn about, you know, these other tanks and what, you know. It, it was kind of cool. Um, then you got all this... There was a point where the game changed. Um, shots that you aimed uh, that used to pen stopped penning as much. Things just got more random. And it's... I am... You know I have the tinfoil hat and everything else, but I am fully, um, I honestly believe 100% that it was all in the, um, the coding. They wanted to make the game uh, slightly easier for 10 year old kids to play and slightly more appealing to that demographic of Ooh, look, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, it's a tank. Brrr, you know, let's get all the light tanks in there that do 90 miles per hour. Um, basically, the Call of Duty um, demographic, where get in there, play really quick, on the next game. Die, on the next game. I'll die, on the next game. And I think it really hurt the game. I really think, you know, it, obviously, you only got one server now in the U.S., you got the player base that I never had, almost never had to wait for more than a second or two to get a match. Now, you know, you get 20 seconds, 40 seconds. I was in queue the other night for almost a minute waiting for a game at, I don't know, it was 10 or 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, then now you add to the fact they stick mercenaries in there, which is just, it's a money grab, really. Well, it's not. It's a combination of things, I believe. My opinion is, it is one to grab money because I know people can't do all the contracts. They, it just, unless you sit at home 24-7 and have every tank in the fucking game, you're not going to finish all the contracts on all these tanks. So you're going to waste money to do it. Then I look at the cost if they just want to buy it for gold. Because, as you know, I have 160 or so premium tanks, I guess, 150. I don't mind buying premium tanks. I have the channel. I have money. I don't mind spending it on a game. I don't mind helping the game out. I really don't. It's part of the game. And I'm cool with that for the most part. Now, I really don't really love the um, the reskins and charge twice as much for them. I think that's, that's shady math. Um, however, when they get away with that, you don't think the, dev the developers are going to say... Hey, what else can we get away with? Hmm, let's take a bunch of tanks. Let's We don't want to work at making actual tanks. So let's take tank models we already have in the game. Let's slap different turrets that we already have in the game on them. And let's slap different guns that we already have in the game on them. And let's stick them in there and charge twice as much as any other tier 8 or tier 6 or tier whatever tier tank. But you can earn them if you want. It's just... I don't know when... Ooh, there's a shot from 148. I don't know when the people running this game decided, uh, they must have sold out. This cannot be world wargaming anymore. It, it, they wouldn't admit it if it was, but it can't be. It's, you know, I mean, I know it wasn't exactly wargaming to begin with. It was just a, a, a uh, spin-off of it. But, um, this can't be. And you got the people running this are just, they're just clueless. They're seriously clueless as to if they want to keep a player base of people that like playing tanks and like a little little bit of realism. I know it's not real. I know it's a game. I know it's an arcade. But they're turning it into an arcade shooter where you just click fire, click fire, click fire, click fire. And it's just... Anyways, I'll get off my rant. You notice I don't do videos very often anymore, and this is why. So, T29, we're gonna put some shells into him as he just sits there and looks at me, looks at whoever. 
I talk about a complete fail team video, and this is. My team was complete morons. I just... But the reason I ended up with so much XP is because the other team had a fucking complete moron in the T-29 that didn't back up. He's just gonna sit right there and just let me farm almost every... If not all, almost every bit of his health. Look at him just, uh, what am I doing? Uh, uh... Good night, Irene. Later, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. As my daughters say all the time now. I don't know where they heard that, but... Bye, Felicia. That should be in the game. Bye, Felicia. So, yeah, we're down to, you know, six tanks on my team. Surrounded. The other team has a ton more tanks. And I said, well, you know, time to get out of Dodge. I'm going to get somewhere where the tanks aren't coming behind me. Uh, and I move over here, and of course, you know, seeing no one on my team killed tanks over here, there's a whole crap load of them over here, too. At least they're tier fives. You know, at least we got a couple rams. They're not going to worry me too much. We've got a damage track. We're going to go after this ram, get him out of the game. Because even though they're little and small, tracking me every two seconds can definitely uh, do me in. Now we're down to four tanks. Ooh, Comet. Safe bet to get down that hole. Get away from the fire. Tank's coming behind me. Tank's coming beside me. Let's go take out the Comet. We're going to do some ram damage. Goodbye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. And I'm the only tank left. Eight on one. And, you know, at this point, I'm just like... Pfft. There ain't no fucking way I'm going to win eight on one in this piece of shit. I'm trying to back up right now and get behind this tank, but that didn't work, and he got down there, so I was like, shit, what should I pull forward? And I'm going to try to pull forward and get on the other side of this tank, but he plays smart and comes down around, and that's the end of my game. I was going to try to put the tanks in between us. I was originally trying to back up around that other tank to get it in between us to use it for cover, but... I... The wall was on one side, the tank was on the other side, I couldn't get around him, so... It was doomed from the start. Defeat, 70,000 at silver, 2,600 XP the multiplier, high caliber, first class mastery, in a tank that I particularly don't like, 2,800 damage, 950 assist, and block 650, that must have been all from them uh, rams. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you look at the team, only two tanks over 500 damage, you know, I hit almost 3,000. So if that isn't a fucking fail team, <sighs> I'm not even going to go through the list here. I us usually read down the numbers, but it's pointless. Although I will point out the T29 coming up here. So DC, DCBA, DC Disababa, whatever the fuck that stands for. You lost 990 health to a tank that you could have killed in three shots. <laughs> Hug. Anyways. Yeah, so I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I just haven't been playing. Because the game frustrates me so much. You know, I tried to play the last couple nights and got games like this over and over and over again. I, I think I played ten games Sunday night and six of them were this. They're just complete trash. And I know I'm rusty because I haven't played a lot. I understand this. I get it. No, I've never, never sat out and said, I am the ultimate tanking champion, because I'm not. But you, no one wins that game in that tank with that team. I don't care how fucking good you are. You just, you just don't win it. There's, change my mind. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, I know those people that say, well, if you played this, you did this and this, right? When no one on your team gets over 500 damage at tier 7. I mean, 700 damage at tier 7. Approximately. So I'm in the ballpark. And only two... Actually, I'll rephrase that. When only two players on your 15-person team, other than you, get over over 500 damage, you're not winning that game in a tank that does 110 damage per shot against eight other enemies. You're just not doing it. So... But anyways, it is what it is. It's a fail team series video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what I did right or wrong. And remember, when you're on that battlefield, shoot the red ones.